break. Hurry, Mr. Bergeron's on. Don't forget the popcorn, Frank. Coming, dear. Fuel assistance is, that's put on by Janice Carrero. <laughs> and um, she is through the Friends, she Faith is through Council. Interfaith Council. Thank that you very much. So the applications are done through Janice, and then they go out to the South Shore community. OK, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. There is uh, transportation that you can use to get to a doctor's appointment or to the salt marsh. It's through the NRTA. It's called our Island Ride. Uh, they will pick you up at your home, bring you to wherever you need to go, pick you up and bring you back home. And that is 50 cents a ride, a dollar a ride. It's a good thing you're here. <laughs> A dollar a ride or $0.50 cents for fifty for a three-month period, correct? Excellent. Legal services uh, also comes once a month to the island. They come to different places. Sometimes they're at the courthouse, sometimes they're at a safe place, and sometimes they're at the salt marsh. And you need to call and make a reservation to talk with somebody there. The Senior Day Center is a day center um, at Father Griffin Hall, and that's for disabled seniors, seniors who aren't ready to go into a nursing home. Um, it's also used for respite for people who are taking care of seniors. So the senior can go Tuesdays and Fridays to a day center and be active in singing, uh, arts and crafts. They have meals there, so it's a great change for everybody. And just about all, if not all, of the things that you were just talking about are free, right? Just yes. Just about all. Mm -hmm. They all are. Um, mm -hmm. And I would, Lunch. I would betcha that most of the people here in the audience did not know all of those things that are available through the Council on Aging. It's, it's really a wonderful mm -hmm. thing. And one of the reasons why, why we're having this tape, so this will be on cable, is because there are also a lot of people. Many of you are here because you've been here before. But there are a bunch of people who have not been here and are never here and may not know a lot about this stuff. Mm -hmm. So I think just knowing that broad sweep of programs. But the other big thing I would suggest that Laura does is if you've got a question about a program that isn't hers or that might be hers, she's going to know. And so much of the challenge of figuring out when, you are re when you're a senior, when you're retiring, you know, uh, uh, what's going on is to figure out who to ask. The last thing you want to do well, if you really love the computer, I bet you could find a lot of it someplace, mm -hmm. right? I couldn't, right? But I bet you could. But to be able to actually call somebody and have a real person try to guide you through some of that, I think is really important. So th thank you very much, Laura. Um, the, other, the other person and entity that I really wanted you to know about was Elder Services of Cape Cod and the Islands. Could you raise your hands if you know what that entity does? Elder Services of Cape Cod and the Islands. Then I'm glad a lot of you came, right? Um, <laughs> This, the, Massachusetts is divided into regions, and each region uh, has something called an Aging Services Access Point, or an ASAP. Um, and it is those, and, and each one of those entities, each ASAP is a nonprofit that actually works and drives a lot of its funding from the state, from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. So it's your tax dollars at work. And they are basically, in many ways, the conduit through which any of the state programs, and in some places, and, but, but Sherry Hunt will talk to you about that, some of the federal programs even, show up and become available to you. So for many of the programs that you might be calling Laura about and asking about, she may be very well saying, oh, you've got to, call, you've got to talk to Sherry. So you really want to understand what those programs are. This is wonderful Nantucket. So of course, it's right here in Nantucket. You know, it's right, she's, she's like right here. And, and I've asked her to come to really kind of talk about what their, what their programs are broadly and then also kind of more specifically to talk some about um, programs dealing with home care Progr and with the availability of home care because that issue comes up a lot. When you're slowing down, um, oftentimes you've got a husband and a wife who have totally said they're going to do anything they can for their spouse except sometimes you can't do everything. Sometimes you just can't. And so the goal of the exercise sometimes is to try to figure out how you can make sure that everything gets done 
without one spouse or the other, you know, dropping dead from wear and tear. So that's why kind of home, home care is just a really important piece of all this. So I, I'd, add, I'd like Sherry to just talk about the, the agency and about those programs, and then, we, and then we'll talk some more specifically about home care. Very good. So make believe that. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Sherry Hunt. I'm the director of Elder Services here in Nantucket. I'm one of four offices that Elder Services actually has for Cape Cod and the Islands. If you look on the directory of services, which would be the first page of the handouts I gave you, we went through quite a few of what the programs are we offer both here and on the Cape. There are some programs on the Cape that we don't have here in Nantucket simply because there hasn't been a need or an interest. Um, not that we wouldn't love to have them, but they just haven't, they haven't happened here. Um, so briefly, the aging service access point, that is where we look at the home care, which I can get into a little more detail after. Um, you must meet financial as well as need categories in order to receive home care benefits under the state home care programs. Um, protective services, it, we're the agency you're going to call to make um, an inquiry, a complaint, or express a concern about a senior citizen in the community who you feel may be being abused, neglected, or even is self-neglecting. Um, we would then assign a caseworker if we find there's enough reason and send someone in to investigate. Again, you must remember that senior must allow us access to the home. We can't just come into your home because someone called. So sometimes people think we don't really follow up, and we do. Um, but you have a right to refuse to let us come in and investigate. Um, health services, we're responsible to the state of Massachusetts to screen nursing screenings for anyone entering a nursing home that's going to be paid for by the state of Massachusetts under MassHealth benefits. We offer some home care programs that are paid for by MassHealth benefits. Again, those nursing screenings are done through elder service nurses. On the Cape, there are daycare programs that are health related where we would do screenings. We don't have that here in Nantucket. We offer long-term care ombudsman. That is someone that goes into the nursing home weekly to make sure that none of the patients or family have complaints or issues regarding staff or the care they're receiving in the nursing home. Uh, senior aid program and senior service corps aren't anything that are being done in Nantucket currently. Um, community grants, we do provide grants within Nantucket for programs m mostly designed as startups so that people can get a start and get the programs up and running. I know that the Council on Aging had the transportation grant for a long time. Currently we're not funding that. We're funding a in-home mental health counseling by a, a licensed social worker here in Nantucket and we're also funding um, some family caregiver support dollars to the palliative care programs. Senior nutrition, um, senior dining is here Monday through Friday. And then we also run the Meals on Wheels programs that are here in the community. Um, we don't have any congregate houses here. Money management, there are trained, bonded, insured volunteers that will come into your home and assist you with bill paying, um, managing your finances. There are again criteria. If you look in your handout, I've given you the exact criteria you would need to have someone come in and help you manage your financial affairs. Never taking away from you. Basically a week just come in and help you determine a budget, make sure you're writing your checks, making sure the utilities are getting paid, those types of things. And, and are, the, are those services, do people pay a copay? There is no the, fee. There's no fee. No fee. I um, love these programs. I did, did and there is, the next step of that program would be if someone requires a representative payee where they're actually not able to manage their own finances any longer, we will apply to Social Security to be responsible for your Social Security payments and making sure your bills get paid. Information and referral, we consider ourselves one of the bigger information and referral pieces for senior citizens. So I would expect you to be able to call on us to ask about any program, state, federal, local, CAPE, and if we don't know the answer, we will find it for you. Um, family caregiver support is a much larger program on the CAPE. 
I don't find we have as much call for it here simply because palliative care does such a good job in Nantucket. We don't need to duplicate those services. And by the way, the folks in palliative care whom we were meeting with actually earlier today will be with us for the third presentation. So we want, through these presentations, Great. hopefully you will be seeing, like live, all of the players that you kind of want to know. If you look, there's another handout that you have for state-funded home care programs, which uh, what they're looking at here is questions I'm going to ask if I receive a referral to come into your home to look at whether you're eligible to receive state-funded home care. These are some of the questions I'm going to ask you. I've given you an ADL and an IADL sheet because that's not something that most people are going to be common with what that is. Those are simple questions. Can you do your own laundry? If you're not doing your own laundry, who's doing it? How is that need being met? Can you bathe yourself? Are you able to get in and out of the tub without assistance? Are you able to cook your own food? Those are going to be the questions I need to ask you to determine what your ADL and IADL levels are. So I have to find unmet needs, things that you cannot do for yourself, which would warrant me coming in. Um, then based on your income, we charge on a sliding fee scale. So it can be zero to about 120, I think, a month. Those are monthly copays. They are not hourly fees. 